just kind of how bittersweet the Notre Dame weekend was uh, to have the opportunity to go up there and celebrate such a high from the program, but yet at the same time be experiencing really such a low with, with what we were going through with, with Leroy Selman. Getting the news today uh, about Leroy is, is, I know, struggling for a lot of the players and a lot of people in, in this university and athletic department because Leroy Selman was such a special man to so many people. And he, Leroy Selman was, was again, along with with Doug and Judy and so many of the people here was one of the big reasons that, that sold me on South Florida, having the opportunity to sit down with him and talk to him and just his, his, his dreams, his visions, uh, his belief in this university and the leadership and the administration and the athletic department. Uh, I think Leroy, Leroy Selman is a very special man, probably one of the most unique men that I've ever been around in how humble he was. Here's a, a gentleman that was a Hall of Famer and has restaurants and highways and everything else named after him and is revealed in the community. But if you sat down and talked to him, you wouldn't even know that, that he had ever played the game or had any kind of fame or fortune behind him. Um, but he was just such a special man because he was so humble and he was so genuine and he had such a great heart. So it is a sad day for all of us as we go through this. Our thoughts and prayers go to him. And as we just got done talking about it in our in our team meeting. I mean, this is hard. I learned this lesson. And then any time having to deal with the loss of a, a loved one or something special in your life from a player that I once had at Connecticut when he had lost his father. And, and he told me that so many times in, in mourning, we are sad and remorseful that somebody's, somebody's no longer here with us. And he told me then, he said, you know, the thing I think we all ought to do is, is more celebrate Leroy's life than we should uh, mourn his death just because he was influential to so many people and he meant so much to so many people. And I am grateful and thankful that this didn't happen two years ago and that I was fortunate enough in the small time that I was in his life to have the opportunity to be around him because uh, I have learned an awful lot from Leroy Selman and I think he is a very special man and he will be dearly missed by many, obviously his family, but many friends and coworkers and people here at the university and the athletic department. So. Um, love them, and, we'll, and we, will, we will miss them dearly. And our thoughts and prayers definitely go out to his his, his family as they're going through a very trying, difficult time right now.